In places like the Caribbean, the Middle East, and Europe. Stop television. In London, Norwich, and Berlin. Manchester, Edinburgh, Liverpool, Nottingham. Stop television. Industrial. Commercial. This week on Snub, Silver Bullet, the much anticipated Breeders, Nietzsche Ebb, the Rhythmites, Mute Drivers, and Tangerine. The latter include Mark Demoy, featured in the video, whose earlier claim to fame was as founder of New York trash band Crash, who also included Kurt Ralsk prior to his ultra vivid scene incarnation. This is the debut single from Tangerine, Sunburst. of the Pixies, Tanya Donnelly of Throwing Muses, Perfect Disasters Josephine Wiggs, and on drums Shannon Doughton. Sort of a supergroup of the independent scene, you could say. Snub found them recording their debut album. Perversion of feel 
and many lovers at one time. Go, go, go. Stories of bare velveteen. Twenty hours later, I fill the room with bad sex and bad TV. Go, go, go. Nitsa Ebb have been making dynamic and aggressive club-oriented music for about four years, building an audience especially in Europe and the States. Previous videos have seen them in multicolored Olympian form. Their new single, also from a forthcoming album, Lightning Man, takes a more atmospheric approach.
Mute Drivers used to be exactly that. They got together whilst driving the delivery vans for Mute Records. These days you'll find them recording for the same label as the Sugar Cubes, One Little Indian. Never coy about tackling difficult subjects. This is People with AIDS. currently in the national charts with 20 seconds to comply and their first single bring forth the guillotine is about to be re-released silver bullet silver bullet himself with dj mo explain how chart success is not the ultimate aim the only the only kind of pressure i'm feeling is the pressure that people are going to want another commercial success and it's just not coming from me basically now if i was to turn around to a couple of recording companies in my future if they ever wanted to sign me and say they're going to be looking at, at, at commercial success. I turn around and say, well, you're not going to get it out of me, basically. Do you know what I mean? And it could hold me back. But as long as I'm held back by hardcore, I'm going to be held back. And I think Mo's got the same feelings. Certainly. I mean, the way I look at it is that um, the only reason why 20 Seconds done what it did is because people liked it. Just because people like it don't make it commercial. Popular. You know what I mean? It's just popular, you know what I mean? Everybody likes it, so they buy it. And if a lot of people buy it, that doesn't necessarily mean it's commercial, you know what I mean? Put it in a grave like, you know, Jason Donovan, Kyle and all that. No, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just that a lot of people liked it. You know what I mean? Respect our crowd as well, man. Definitely. Constructed by threatening, crazy-minded man, maniac or Satan. Used to work your blood must 
Seeds build, millions dying, crescendo crying Not for the spying, the plans are locked away Wait time's the break, oh no, no way Pilots loving it, the thought of dropping it Mass destruction at the push of a button Think about the aftermath, who gives a shit? Pilots don't, just if always they're dropping it Take a top off, no chance of rocking it Who's the system, just forgive them Hell returns them, walking in limbo Creating chaos, the giant syndrome Everyone's got no room, they're waiting in the middle Sarcastic reaper, get on speak up, no pandemonium 20 seconds to comply 20 seconds to comply 20 seconds to comply I'm not actually trying to tell stories A lot of people say I'm chatting nonsense But like a, a couple of sentences will be a, uh, one story Then that will finish, pause and it will go straight into the next story But it's kind of like all flowing so it's difficult to keep up with But if you listen hard enough then you'll find something that means something to you It's a lot of oppression basically coming out And uh, I could never go out of my way that's my style. I could never, you know, just run a couple of lyrics that were anything different, really. I could change it up slightly, but I'd always be aggressive, if you know what I mean. I know a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about is going to be considered as um, very offending, definitely, because so many people take offence easily, basically, and they like to take offence in a way because then they can feel a grudge if they want to, do you know what I mean? A lot of strange ways, but I'm trying to come over it. Of the 
untouchable element in the outer zone. zone. Ah, 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 ah. The Breeders' album, Pod, produced by Steve Albini of Big Black fame, is to be released by 4AD in the next few months. Say, music is my life. Music is my life. No, because me and Tanya met when we were on tour, when we, when we came over here in, to Europe and went on tour. And we became friends, and when she started coming over to my house and stuff, and we started <laughs> writing together. We would show each other, oh, look at this chord progression. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. So then when we told 4AD, they seemed, but they, were, they seemed... Excited, so we went to the de we went and demo did, and they liked him. Four hours in that pot, one hour out, it grows, and I sleep standing up. Sleeps over. What a book she writes. reggae seems to have been eclipsed by rap but it's still there from bath the rhythmites have been playing live for a couple of years their first album integration is just released
Yeah.